Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be building this interactable door. So as you can see, I have this door over here. If I approach this door, a text is going to appear showing me that I'm able to interact with the door itself. And if I press this key, the door is going to open. If I press it again, the door is going to close. If I go away, the text is not going to appear anymore. And if I get close again, the text is going to appear again. To create this interactable door, we first need to create the door itself. For that, here in our content drawer, I'm going to our content folder and then right click, select blueprint class and then actor. This is going to be our bp underscore door, just like that. And as you can see, I'm using the third the first person template, but the same thing is going to apply for the third person as well. And I also have the starter content because I want to get the door from there. But you can use any door that you want. So here in our bp underscore door, I'm going to add the component that's going to be a static mesh. Over here, I'm going to name it door. And then over here, since the static mesh, if the door is selected, I'm going to select our door. Just search for door. And this is from the starter content. Just place it over here. And uh, I'm not sure if this has collision enabled, let me see. Yeah, I don't think it has by default, so I'm going to just go into collision and I'm going to add a box simplified collision. Just like that. Now save it, close this. Now here, I'm not going to be dealing with the door for now. First, let's go into our, our blueprint, our BP underscore first person character blueprint the blueprint of our character and then over here I'm going to search for the input that I'm going to be using in this case it's going to be E so I'm going to just search for E input and let's see it should be over here so I'm going to be using this input over here and the way that I'm going to be doing is very simple I'm going to be tracking the first person camera so for that I'm going to just get our first person camera over here and then I'm going to first get our word location so get word location and then I'm going to also get our four vector like that so uh, you need to set the distance that you want your character to be able to interact with the objects in this case the door itself for that I'm going to create a variable that's going to be distance to interact and this is going to be an integer just select integer over here and it's up to you how far you want your character to be able to interact in this case i'm going to be scaling it pretty good something like 20 but you can adjust as much as you want and for that i'm going to from our get forward vector i'm going to get a multiply and then I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to make this into integer then get our distance to interact place it over here and then I think I'm going to be adding this yeah so I'm going to just get the add operator like that break this link place this one first and then this one over here now I'm going to get a line trace by channel, so just get line trace channel. Uh, it's going to be line trace by channel, not much line trace by channel. Just be careful. So this one over here, and first thing I'm going to get our word location as the start, and then it's going to be this operation over here. The trace channel is going to be visibility, and yeah, that should be good. Should be working pretty well. So. Uh, next thing, I need to interact with the door itself. For that, I am going to break this. And from this, I am going to get our hit actor. But first, I need to get a result from that. So I'm going to just get a branch from this boolean value. So that I know that I have hit something with our line trace. And from that, I need to get our actor. And I'm going to use it to make a cast to our door. So for that, let's just get... Yes, to bp underscore door and then place it over here in case of true 
Now here in our door, I'm going to just be deleting this and I'm going to create a custom event. This custom event is going to be to open the door itself. So let's just name it uh, interact. Just name it interact. And here in our BP first person character, I'm going to get from our cast, our interact. Custom event, just like that. Compile, save it. Now, when I start to interact with the door, the first thing that I want to know is if the door is open or if it is closed. So for that, I'm going to create a new variable that's going to be of the boolean type. And this is going to be for open question mark like that. And then I'm going to be getting this over here and get a branch like that. So I need to create the event for both cases. First thing is going to be for if it is open or if it is not. From this, I'm going to get a timeline. But first I need to set our door. Uh, just make a small modification over here. I think I'm going to be using a not boolean first. So just get a not boolean, place it over here. So if it is not open, the first thing that's going to be doing is to set this into open. Like that once it starts to interact. And if it is not, it's going to set it to false. Like that. And then I'm going to get a timeline from this. Um, should be, yeah, over here, just get a timeline. And now open this up. Over here, I'm going to add track. That's going to be, I think I'm going to be adding a float, a float over here. And the first thing that I want to be doing is to set the length. I think I'm going to be using three, maybe two. Yeah, let's use two. And then I'm going to add a key. The first key is going to be on time zero and value zero. And the next one, I'm going to add a new key. The next one is going to be on time two. And the value is going to be one. Just like that. So you should be looking at something like this. Now compile it, save it. Let's go into our event graph again. And I am going to be getting from our new track, I'm going to be getting a alert. I'm going to be breaking this link. This is going to be for alpha. And then for B, I'm going to be placing 90. And yeah, that should be good, should be good. The same thing is going to be applying over here. Yeah. So if it is not, I'm going to be reversing this. If it is not open, yeah, that should be working fine. And then from this, I am going to be get our door and I'm going to be setting relative rotation. And, and then from our new rotation, I am going to split this stroke pin and I'm going to be placing this as this yellow, like that. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Now place this up over here and then here in our update. Like that. Compile it, save it. And now let's test this on the game. I'm going to drag our, from our content folder, I'm going to drag our door over here. And let's see if I'm able to interact with it. Let's see, and it's not working for some reason. The problem is actually very simple. Here in our distance from interact, it is 20, but this is pretty small. I'm going to just be increasing a zero over there, compile it, save it, let's go back. And as you can see, it's working fine now. Uh, I still want to know to, that I am able to interact with this door before clicking it. So as you can see, it's able to close as well. But and you can also decrease the time if you want, it's up to you. Uh, to note that I am, I am able to interact with the door itself, I'm going to be creating a widget. For that, here in our content folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to search for user interface and then widget blueprint. This is going to be a user widget and it's going to be our UI underscore, uh, let's say, interact. Open this up over here. So here in our palette, I'm going to search for canvas and I'm going to be dragging this canvas panel over here. And then here in our canvas panel, I'm going to be search for text and I'm going to be dragging a text inside this canvas panel. Place it where, where we want. In my case, I'm going to be placing it in the down, close to the middle, something like this. 
then place the anchor like that. In my case, it's going to be using this one. So here, the text. Uh, I think I'm going to be using, let's say, RAS E to interact like that. So place it where you want. I think that should be pretty good. Compile it, save it. Now I'm going to be closing this up. So here in RBP, first person character, this is to interact with the door itself. I'm going to be selecting everything over here. And let's just name it um, open close door like that. And then show bubble like so. Now over here, I am going to be needed to toggle the widget as well. So let's just create a custom event. That's going to be to toggle interact widget. And from this, I am going to be creating widget. And the widget that we're going to be creating here in our class, I'm going to select our Y we interact. I'm going to be promoting this to a variable. So just promote to a variable. That's going to be our Y underscore interact. And then I am going to be adding this to viewport. The reason that I'm creating, I'm promoting this to a variable is because I want to be able to remove this from parent as well uh, once it gets further away. So for that, I'm going to be creating a new variable that is uh, for y underscore interact question mark. This time it's going to be a boolean. And I am going to be getting this over here. So get a branch. And in the case, uh, let's search here. Place it over here. So now if this is true, then it's going to create a widget and it's going to add to viewport just like that. Actually, the first one, I think I'm going to be using not boolean as well. So just get a not boolean, place it over here. And then of course I need to set this again. So just get the Y interact, place it over here. In this case, I'm going to be setting it to true. You need to do the same over there. So next one's going to be for false. Just set it to false. And this time I'm going to be get our Y interact. And I'm going to be removing this from parent. Like that. Compile it, save it. And this event is going to be for to toggle which interact like that and then show bubble. Now in our door, let's compile this, save it. Now in our door, this one, it is the event interact. So let's just comment this as well. And I need to create a, no, a new one that's going to be for to know that I'm able to interact with the widget itself for that. I am going to be adding a sphere that's going to be a collision sphere. This one over here. And from this sphere, I'm going, yeah, yeah, first thing, let's go into our report. And I'm going to be increasing the scale a bit. Let's try with seven, seven, and seven. Let's see, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to just be placing the door a little bit over here. Yeah, compile it, save it. Now in our event grab, with our sphere selected, I'm going to get on collision uh add on com on component begin overlap this one over here so i'm going to be also get a new one that's going to be let's first select our sphere and let's get begin actually end overlap should be this one add on component big end overlap over here and i am actually going to be calling the same event so the first thing that i need to do is to get player character and I'm going to be casting to pp first person character and then I'm going to be getting this event over here so tag interact with you so just get that event like that and then place our cast over here like so yeah that should be pretty good the same thing is going to be done over here on the end overlap. Compile it, save it. 
Now let's go into our world and let's see if I approach this door, I'm going to be seeing a text that's going to be showing that our player that he is able to interact with the door. So let's see, as you can see, I'm able to see the text, I'm able to interact with the door. Then if I go further away, the text is going, it's not going to be appearing anymore. And if I get closer again, it's going to start to appear again. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memcinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMITY to enroll for free.